Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be doing another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems but before we get into that guys just a massive massive thank you as the subscriber count recently has been going absolutely crazy so I just want to make a massive massive thank you to everyone who's really recently subscribed and everyone who comes back every video just a massive massive thank you as it is really really appreciated and it's just amazing how things um, are going at the moment so yeah just a big thanks to everyone out there for coming back to the videos and all that and yeah that is that yeah just a Again, a huge thanks. It is absolutely insane how things are going. And yeah, we've almost gone up like 100 subs in a very, very short time. So that is, that's pretty crazy stuff. We're getting close to that 9,000 mark now. But anyways, let's get into today's video. So this is episode 93 now. Damn, we're getting close to that big 100. So um, yeah, we've got one system today from Troll EG. Or Troll EG. I'm sorry, your names are quite hard to say. Um, yeah, the Discord user. So a massive thanks to them for sending this in. Um, also, if you guys want to send in your own systems, make sure to join my Discord. Link in the description and you can send them um, the system file in there and then i can get around to doing it at some point but yeah let's get into it so the system here is the l tarrier system i think you pronounce it so let's go ahead and uh, go in here and let's see what he has prepared for us today so here we go right so this is a compact eight planet system discovered around the k-type star l tarrier i really hope i'm saying that right modded objects come from custom colors all right awesome so Star itself right here. So it looks like a red dwarf um, on first um, looks. So here is its stats. Yeah, it's a pretty small star by the looks of it. I mean, let's compare it to um, let's compare it to um, the largest exoplanet, for instance. I mean, I'm pretty sure it probably would be yeah about the same size. Yeah, look at that. So um, yeah, about the size of the largest exoplanet here. So there we are. Right. So first object over here is a very dark looking one by the looks of it. So we've got a, a very small dwarf planet, um, actually, quite very, very, well, very, very small. Yeah, only 875 in radius there. So, yeah, very, very small, pretty hot as well. So it's like a hot Pluto, I guess. What would you even call this? A micro Mercury hot Pluto dwarf planet. So there is that. Next up, we got Archem over here. And this is a reddish object with a sweet looking sort of bluish atmosphere. Purpley blue atmosphere on it there. So that is looking good. So it's um, 177 here. So not as hot as um, the previous object. So there we are. Right, next up is this one with this nice light blue trail here. So it is an all ocean world, as we can see here. It's got an um, environment probe around it as well, as we can see. So there it is there. Right, so um, yeah, 19 degrees. Let's go ahead and check these stats here. So uh, 82 and 24, pretty good for an all ocean world there. So there we go. Really like that trail color. Right, now moving on to the next one. This is Nors over here. And this one is going with a very dark brown and grey colour theme. I'm liking the colour theme on that. Nice um, blending of colours, I think, there. So then we have um next object here. Just some moons. Yep. And a larger moon over there. So you're yeah, not really too much to see there, though. You can see it in the um, image there. Right, now moving on to the next one here. I have no idea how to pronounce that one, but yeah, here it is. So it is a um, random spawn by the looks of it, and looks like it's a pretty good one. It's got white in the north, white in the south, and then the rest of it is all blue with a few different colours in there. A few different shades. So there it is. Pretty pretty good random spawn. That is actually a, that is definitely a good one. So yeah, there we go. And there's also a frozen ice world here at minus 112. Very close to the um, planet there. They're moving out. We've got this one as well. Another frozen ice world there. Also at minus 112. So, yeah, there we go. Right, moving on. So, the next one is this object here. So, this is... Ooh. Ooh, this one looks interesting. Okay. So, a greyish colour um, with a green on it. Yeah, or it's more of a white colour. But um, the atmosphere must make it look slightly different. So, yeah, there it is there. And I'm loving the red atmosphere on it. The green and the grey go pretty well together as well. But that red atmosphere really, really gives it some personality, I'd say. Like, really shows or really makes it look good. Very nice choice of atmosphere there. It does go pretty well with the surface, I have to say. Pretty unique. One of a kind there. I've not seen anything like that before with those sort of colour schemes, I don't think. So, right, there we go. Very, very nice indeed. Very cold there. Right, now moving on to the next object over here. So, this is a nice looking ice giant. By the looks of it here. So again, looks like it's another random spawn. It actually looks like the... Uh, I wonder if it's... Do I still even have this thing? Is it the toothpaste gas giant? It looks very similar to that. Oh, it may be actually. Look at that. I think it is. Well, it must be a very similar version, yeah. One of the very, very old gas giant, that one there. So yeah, we're going back to some classics here. Very, very old um, object right there. So um, yeah, there it is. And it's also got some tiny little moons around it, as we can see here. I don't think there's any... Um, yeah, any larger ones. There may be, well. Um, it's also got a um, another probe here. So as we can see there. 
All right, and then we have a large moon over here with a pretty exotic color as well. So it's like a dark sort of um, yeah, dark pinky magenta color with a black sort of secondary color going with it right there. So yeah, there we are. Looking good. Yeah, it's nice to see that old gas giant. That's cool. All right, moving on to the next one. So the next one is actually the probe here. So this is the System Explorer. So yeah, there we go. And then the last object here is P. Mallow over here. And this is going with a pretty exotic um, color as well. So look at that. So it's got high elevation is a very hot pink there. Mid elevation is a dark green. And then it's got a bright race yellow as the low elevation. So it's a pretty uh, exotic looking world. I have to say, it reminds me of a few ones I made a long way back now. But, um, yeah, that is a pretty nice for the atmosphere. The atmosphere really does add to it, I think. So, yeah, there we go. Now, so I think that is... Is that all the objects in here? I think it is, yep. Yeah. Don't think there's anything further out. Okay, so that is all of the objects in the um, Eltaria system. Or Eltara. I'm really sorry if I'm saying this wrong. So, yeah, here is a lineup of all the objects. So, there we go. It looks like some of them have been uh, smoking up, so... Maybe if you click play, um, some bad things will happen. So yeah, there we go now. So that was actually um, quite a short one. I've just seeing if he's uh, sent any other. Okay, so that's the only system he's ever sent. Okay. So um, right, yeah, that will do it for today's episode then, guys. But before we end off, if I was to pick a favourite out of all these. So yeah, like I do all the time. Right, so I have to say, I think I've got to go with the Toothpaste Gas Giant. I think that I think that does really look good. But I have to say the random spawn here. That is also a very, very nice um, one indeed there. Quite similar to my Planet 9 in colour. Favourite out of the Rockies is 100% the red with the green and grey. I think that is a really, really nice combo of colour there. I have to say I did like this one as well. Now, I thought that was a quite an interesting colour scheme. But yeah, this one does it for me. Best Rocky there. Best Gas Giant is definitely the Toothpaste Gas Giant there. But yeah, there we go, guys. So yeah, like I said, if you want to send in your own systems, make sure to join my Discord. Link in the description of um, pretty much all my videos. And yeah, just join in from there. You can either upload it to um, the upload channel in the server I have. Or you can just private message me at either one works. And I'll hopefully get around to doing it at some point. So yeah, I just want to make sure the instructions are clear. Since a few people um, still say how to send in systems and stuff. So hopefully... Hopefully um, you know now. Um, but yeah, that is everything, guys. Let's see if we can go for 30 likes for this system today, guys. And also um, leave um, or subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to um, 9,000 subscribers and 10,000 as well. As we're getting, they're yeah, just under or just over 400 away from 9,000. So you're getting pretty close. So yeah, just again, a massive, massive thank you for everyone who comes back and everyone who has recently subscribed. Really, really cool. Massive, massive thanks. It's absolutely amazing. And yeah, that is everything, guys. So make sure you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.